Hello, everyone. In this video, we're going to show you how to conduct activity as a third party preparer. First, we're going to show you how to register for a main tax portal account as a third party preparer. Second, we'll show you how to request third party access to a client's account. Third, we'll look at what information you can see once access has been granted. Actually, granting access to a third party preparer is covered in another video account maintenance. For the first portion, we're going to navigate to the Businesses panel on the main tax portal homepage, and we're going to select the option to register a business. Next, we'll click the option to create a username. Here, we're given three options for a reason why we are creating a new username. We're going to select the third. that says, I am an independent third party who works on behalf of a person or entity that has previously filed taxes in the state of Maine. Next is the required information. Read through this page, make sure that you have all the information necessary, and then continue. Here we'll enter our information as the third party preparer, including our ID type, ID number, legal name, and address. As always, addresses must be verified through the United States Postal Service. This will correct information such as street abbreviations, as well as adjusting the zip code to the full nine digits. Once the address has been verified, you may continue. On the next page, you'll be asked to enter in your user information, including your username, your name, your email address, and to confirm your email address. You'll also be asked if you'd like to go paperless at this time. In the security panel, you'll be asked to enter in your password and again to confirm, as well as your secret question and secret answer. In the primary phone number panel, the phone number type will default to a cell phone, though you may change this if you wish. And then you'll be asked to actually provide the phone number. Once all required fields are complete, you may continue. Next, this information is summarized back to us. Once you've confirmed that it is correct, you may submit. You'll be asked to enter your email address twice. This will be reiterated back to you on the next page, along with a confirmation number. As always, we do encourage you to make note of both of these pieces of information for your records. Now that we've created our username, we're going to show you how to actually request access to your client's account. You must have the main tax portal username that you have just created and be logged in to do this. We are starting off on the logged in homepage. Because we registered as a third party, we have no accounts of our own to manage. So we're going to navigate to the option at the top right that says manage my profile and click that hyperlink. And then we'll select the more tab. And we're going to scroll down to request third party access. And enter in the ID type and ID number of the account for which we are requesting access. We'll also enter the account type or tax type. and the account ID number. And we'll click Submit. This will bring us to the confirmation page. As always, Maine Revenue Services does encourage you to make note of this information for your records. We'll repeat this for all taxpayers and tax accounts or tax types that we manage. Please note that if you are requesting access to multiple tax types for the same taxpayer, you will need to repeat this process for each account type or tax type. Each taxpayer will need to grant the request for access. Steps on how to do so are shown in the account maintenance video. And once they have granted access, will show you what you will see.
For the third part of this video, we're going to show you what it looks like once access has been granted. Two of our clients have granted us access to their accounts. So in addition to us as the tax preparer showing here on this home screen, we also can see both our clients' accounts on this home screen. You can select who we'd like to work with. And then we can see their tax accounts to which we've been granted access, as well as the taxpayer as a whole. Any tax accounts that they have to which we have not been granted access will not display here. If we go back to the logged in home screen or select the work with someone else option, we can select a different client without having to log out and back in. Also on the logged in home screen, we can see action items for both us as the tax repair, as well as each client to which we have access. And also from the logged in home screen, we can add a particular client to our favorites if we work with them more often. And they will appear in a favorites tab. So if you have many clients with whom you work and you have one or two in particular that you are working with at a given time, you can add them to your favorites to easily find them. That concludes our demonstration of how to conduct activity as a third party preparer. Thank you all for watching.